Hi everyone, this is Autumn. I really wanted to share this with you. Um, it is a form of kind of self therapy that you can do yourself by listening to a form of kind of sound therapy. I've been using it. I've um, recommended it and used it with a few different clients and I've had amazing results with the few people I've worked with it with and with myself. Um, I'm also a professional musician and I've studied sound therapy in the last two years before I even went through narcissistic abuse and before I had even um, really gone through any kind of trauma myself and just for just general um, well-being and healing modalities and stuff like that. And I really found sound therapy to be quite amazing. So this is kind of an EMDR self-therapy. I'm going to tell you real quick um, what you're going to do. So you're going to hear, you're going to put on headphones. The reason why it's important that you put headphones on is because you're going to hear it coming from your right side and then your left side and then both sides. It's important because what it is doing is it is activating your right side of your brain, your left side of your brain, and then reconnecting both. There's a lot of research and a lot of theories regarding trauma kind of getting stuck, so to say, in your nervous system in one part or region of the brain or one side of the brain. I could go into all the details of the what region and what it's called. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that um, it kind of gets stuck there, so to say. And that's the theory behind EMDR, which a lot of therapists do. Um, and I honestly, I've done EMDR. I've done it um, with people. I've done it as a patient. And this is so much more effective. So you can do this for 15 minutes every day. Even if you just do it for, for five or six minutes every day, you are going to see just huge, huge results. Okay, so put on um, headphones. Listen. As you're listening, you're going to hear it go from your right side to your left side to the middle. What I want you to do, you can just listen, and that's it. That simple. It will do something. Now, to take it a step further to make it more useful, you can close your eyes, and I want you to follow with your eyes, even just closed, I want you to follow the sound. So when the sound goes to your right, I want your eyes to follow to the right. When the sound goes to the left, I want your eyes to follow to the left. And when the sound goes to the middle, I want your eyes to follow to the middle of your head and go up, and like you're looking up into your like brain almost. <laughs> okay, and then just keep doing that. So as, you, as you're listening to the sound, the sound's going to go to your right, your eyes are gonna follow right, like it's looking towards your right ear. Sound's going to go to your left ear. You're going to like move your eyes. With your eyes closed, it's totally fine. Like your eyes are looking towards your left ear. And then when the sound goes into the middle, meaning your both your ears can hear the sound, your, your eyes are going to face forward and like look up to the sky almost, or up to the middle of your brain. When I do this, and I've had other people say when they've done this as well they feel like a almost like a tingling sensation the pineal gland um, there's a part of the brain that is in the middle of your brain it's a, like a little um, they call it pineal gland because it is like a pine cone and it's said to be the third eye it's tucked like kind of in the middle um, of your brain and it gets activated supposedly and that's supposedly what you're feeling I don't know you know no one really knows for sure what it is you're feeling but I feel like a tingling sensation every time it meets in the middle down my spine I can be feeling so so depressed or so like in that trauma filled state and I can do this for five or six minutes and feel completely different it's amazing okay I'm going to put it on. I'm going to run this for about 10 minutes.
and then if you have any questions about it, you can uh, ask me in the comments, and I will do a couple of follow-up videos regarding uh, information on self-EMDR and self-therapy.